Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a magical day so far. Today's video, as you can tell from the title, is another Disney haul. Um, I feel like I've had quite a few this year, but rather than gather loads and loads of things to have like a massive Disney haul, I thought I would do smaller ones, which mean they're smaller videos so they're easier to watch and you get more Disney hauls more frequent on the channel. So without further ado, folks, let's get to it. Just before we get into the haul itself, I just wanted to say that I know that I'm not sitting with my plush behind me, but this is a much easier setup. Um, so I hope that that's all right with you all, but you get to see all of my pins and my desk and my lanyard and everything else instead. So I hope that that's okay. So the first two things are from Asda and then we have some things from HMV. Ooh, I wonder what they are. Uh, insert sarcasm here. Um, so first up, we have this candle from Asda. This was four pounds. This just says, you are magic on both sides. I really liked this and this was four pounds. It has this rose gold lid and it smells, it says cotton and it smells just like the Yankee candle, um, clean cotton. It smells just like that. I love it. The second and final thing from Asda I picked up was actually this Black Widow Blu-ray. Um, as you know or may not know, I collect the Marvel Disney and Pixar movies with the covers that all match together. So I picked Black Widow up for £7, which I thought was a really good price. And then the spine looks like this. Then from HMV, I picked up these, but over a certain amount of time, over like a month or two, I think. Um, so we'll just continue on with the Marvel ones. I picked up uh, Shang-Chi and Eternals, and I think one of them was 7 99 and one of them was 8 99 Um... The Blu-ray itself is always a little bit different to the cover. And then Eternals is this one. And that cover is quite drastically different, actually. Um, and then there's this fine on that one. And then I have a Pixar one, which is Luca. I don't think I've showed this in a haul. If I have, I apologize. Um, and this is the cover for Luca. Luca was so cute and the animation was stunning on this one. And then the spine on these, it's always like the little Pixar ball with the number of the movie in it. And the final one is, of course, Encanto. Um, and this is, of course, the, it's the poster for Encanto, isn't it? Um, and then the spine looks like this. Next up, there's a little Primark section. There might be five things from Primark. So I'm just going to work my way down this pile that sat next to me. Um, so first up. I got an AirPod case. Me and my housemate Laura both have AirPods and I thought that this would be a fantastic way to distinguish my AirPods from ours because we always leave them around about the kitchen and the hall and stuff so at least this way we'll know which ones are mine. So it's this kind of really metallic looking stitch case. It says stitch up here. It's got a little... Um... What on earth is that? Like a little hook thing? Words are failing me right now. Um, and I just love the, the design overall of the packaging too. And this was only three quid, so bargain. Following on from that, I got something else for three pound and it was this set of two tea towels. I actually need to go through our tea towels. Um, there's a few old tatty looking ones and I thought Disney tea towels that are reduced. Heck yes. Um, so this front one is just basically plain red with a embroidered Mickey on it. And then the other one is normally a lot of a is a much more jazzier pattern. So you've got the same winking Mickey, you've got Minnie, oh, that's Minnie's face, and you've just got little bows and Mickey heads here and then bigger bows as well. So I thought that that was super cute. Um, and as I say, reduced from five to three quid. Bargain. Next up, all of this stuff kind of matches together. So first up, I got a new throw because you always need throws, right? But what I tend to do is when I buy a new one, I actually um, charity another one. Um, or put it in one of the, like, the clothing bins and stuff. Um, I don't just, like, completely throw it away. Someone else can then get use of it. So this is the new Mickey Mouse design that they've got going on at Primark at the moment. So this is the design on here, but this is not the main design. I just quite liked this um, logo. The throw was £6, as per usual. And as you can see from here... It's just a few different Mickey Mouses and it says Mickey Mouse and also says Walt Disney as well, which I really liked. So this is the Mickey Mouse signature and the Walt Disney one. You can't really see. Oh, hold on. If I just do that, you can see it there. 
So I thought that was really nice because you don't tend to see Primark doing things or have anything really with Walt Disney's signature on it. So I thought that was a really nice touch. So I got that. To go with that, I of course got the matching cushion because I couldn't not. I absolutely love this. I know it might be a little bit bright and a bit out there for some people, but I thought it was fab. Um, the Mickey Mouse is embroidered on it. It's got stitching all around the lettering. I always fair check stuff like this because I just like it to look its best. The 1928 is part of this fabric here. And it's basically just Mickey Mouse and all of his different like body parts everywhere. Um, and the back is just plain black and it's like a velvet soft touch material. The tag matches the front of the throw. And as you can see, this cushion was eight pounds. I believe the cushions used to be like six or seven. So they've definitely gone up, but the, um, they're always the same price. They do a bigger version though that is dearer, um, which is nice. You have the you have the option. I'll just pop these to the side. Now the final thing is actually from the ladies section, but it is essentially the same design and it completely matches in with everything else. Um, I bought the snooty <laughs> for winter time when we have really horrible weather, which is meant to be coming. Um, so I got this in a medium large and it definitely fits. The only thing I will say is the arms are a little bit short, but I will roll the sleeves up anyways. But it's really, really long and it does have pockets on the side right here. So you can always put your phone in and stuff. Um, as you can see, it is the same design, but obviously it's got a red background instead of the white one from the cushion. Um, and it does have the Mickey Mouse signature here as well, which I'm hoping you should be able to see there. And then it does have a hood, and of course the hood has Mickey ears as well. Why wouldn't it? Um, but as I say, yeah, this was in the ladies section. The men's um, had a Dragon Ball Z one, and I think a plain one, and I was like, no. I bought the Disney one. Um, they also, in my Primark, had a Winnie the Pooh one, which Laura's actually purchased. Um, so, yeah, they did have that too. And this was £19. Um, but I think it's definitely going to be a worthwhile investment. And now we hit the Shop Disney items. There's only four, so I'm going to try and not be too slow, but there are some pretty great details to see on them. So I apologize if I'm a little bit slower showing. So first up, I have two of the Mickey Mouse main attraction keys. We have It's a Small World for April and the Enchanted Tiki Room for May. So we will of course go over them in order. So the boxes, by the way, are just exactly the same. They're the same color, same shape, everything is the same. It's just obviously the key on the inside and your bit of text on the back that is different every time. What I will do is I'm just going to show you the back and if you want to read it, feel free to pause and read. It's basically this top part here because the second part is the same but in French. Um, I won't sort of, you know, waste anyone's time by reading it out, but that's that on the top. And then this is the key itself, which I love. I want to say the quality on these keys is fab. It's really, really great. They're a nice sturdy box. The back that they're in is nice, thick, sort of velvet padding which i love i think it's really great quality so the it's a small world key itself has the iconic pastel coloring you have the clock face and then you've got all the numbers in the ears you have all of the design going all the way down here and then in the key part it's always the castle and this is the 50 here the enchanted tiki room one is an attraction i've never actually done because i've only ever been to disneyland paris but as I said, the box is exactly the same. And we will just open this box up. And try and not make it be too painful to do because I always make things look quite difficult. <laughs> so as per, there's the back of the box again. Feel free to pause and read if you would like. There we go. And then this is the key itself. So you have the parrot. I don't know what the parrot's called. I do apologize, but you've just got some flowering. Um, and I believe this is how the parrot sits. I have seen it in vlogs, obviously, um, over the years. You've got a totem pole down here with different faces on. You've got some more flowers. And then the castle is a brown. I'm guessing to, because it's 
wooden, I would imagine, um, with of course the 50 there as well. And the keys are £25, which I know is a considered purchase, but I believe that the quality is honestly worth it. Um, and I can't wait to get the rest. Seven more to go. But yeah, that is those two. Next up, we actually have a Christmas ornament. I know, a Christmas ornament. But when you see this one, you'll realise why I got it. <laughs> because it's the Remy Ratatouille one. I love Ratatouille so much. Um, and as you can see from his face, really, really well done. Um, I watched the lovely Sinead over at Collections Never Complete, and she's done a shop Disney haul that had a few of the Christmas ornaments and she said and I completely agree with her that the quality this year is just so much higher than it's been over the past few years on these ornaments um so I actually don't mind paying the price he is part of the legacy collection um which means they're part of an anniversary which means they had of course a little bit deeper um this one was 20 pounds but I got him for 17 because I had a discount um Voucher. But as you can see, his eyes are painted really well, his face is done really well, there's no sort of leaking with paint or anything, his little whiskers are like little plastic silicone, so they're bendable. On the plate, you've got the detail on the ratatouille, and then the sauce and everything is all 3D as well, so it actually sticks up, and then you of course have la ratatouille on the plate, and it also has it on the bottom too. And if you want to see any of the other one's in the collection. There's an image here. I know it's not the best image in the world, but this year there's 16 to collect, and I don't think there was that many last year, but that's those if you are interested. The final item is one of my favourites, but I do only have, I do have one criticism, um, and the criticism is that this Goofy plush is just way too small to be Goofy. This is the um, limited edition anniversary plush for Goofy's 90th, um, and I do have the original standard Goofy here, and as you can see, he is smaller in every way, shape and form. From the hat, the head, the body, the legs, the arms, everything is just a lot smaller. Like, look at the hand comparison. <laughs> this Goofy plush I got back in 2018, and he was £21, and actually he was on offer for twelve fifty. I got him in the London store. Um, this limited edition plush is twenty seven fifty. I will say though that he does have some amazing details on him, so I am going to try and quickly go over them. Um, first up, he has some amazing stitching and embroidery on his eyes and all around his eyelids, etc. Um, his hat and everything is really nice and sturdy. He does feel a really nice quality, like a good material. He has a knitted lilac coloured jumper. He has a little velvet waistcoat, which is two separate pieces that have just obviously been clipped, uh, stitched together at the shoulders. He has little cord trousers. Um, the patch is embroidered and stitched on, and he does have the same two patches um, here as well. Um, ooh, and then on his feet, he does have um, the Goofy 90 years, all embroidered. The whole thing's embroidered, actually. Um, on his foot as well. So he does have a lot of embroidery, which to me feels, it feels nice that they seem to have actually really made an effort with this plush. It's just the size and that I'm really not a fan of, but there's nothing I can do about that. Um, mainly because I have the Donald and Pluto anniversary plush. In fact, they're both right here. And it just doesn't look quite right. Pluto is humongous compared to him. So I just think the sizing's just a bit wrong. But other than that, I love him. I think he's an absolutely amazing plush. The details are stunning. And with Goofy, that brings us to the end of this Disney haul. And that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching today's Disney haul. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. If you have, please do give it a big thumbs up for me. Comment down below what your favourite item was in the video and let me know if you've been purchasing any Disney items yourself recently as well. As always, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down below and click that notification bell so you're notified every single time a video goes live as well. And that's it. I've been Disney Matt. Thank you for watching as always and I hope to see you all in the next one. Bye.